Oh, wow. You know what? Let's just insta-build this. I think it's bugging the game out right now. Alright, anyway. Oh, saving. Fantastic. It's good to see. Is it going to finish saving? There we go. So all these, ha this house is completely done now. Hopefully, Efrel did actually make stuff. It looks like he did. That's good to see. He's now he's now a level up now. So what we'll do is we'll make him make the Weaver. Um, we don't need to make these now because I guess they were made in the instant build, which is a bit of a shame. But oh well. So if you can make the Weaver's sign, that'd be pretty great. Now we'll go and get ourselves some... We'll get some dresses. That's good. We'll get some desks. Um... Do we have, did we have bookshelves in these? I guess not. Um, these window boxes, though, seem appropriate. Okay, I guess we don't have the bookshelves. We'll make some of these arch chairs, though. And I think we got a cloth bed lying around. Yeah, we do. That's good to see. And then we'll make, like, a bunch of these shields, because they sell for a lot. <laughs> there we are. I like it. Right, so like I said before... Actually, how many of those do we have? We're running out because I think I used quite a lot of them along here for really aesthetical reasons. I'm not going to lie. Efrel, you made one thing and then you just sort of stopped. Are you right? You, you, you know, creeping out right now? I guess you're eating. It looks like it. I can't be sure about that though. Did we miss anything? Level up. Survivalist. Survivalist. I don't know how I missed these updates. <laughs> there we go. It will never, never upset us ever again. Oh no, some of these windows aren't actually done. Or at least they... Oh no, I guess the items spawned near the windows. That's how that works, I guess. Oh well, not too bad. Want to get some carpets laid out in here, actually. Do we have any carpets? No, but we do have a flag. There you go. You making the banner? I think you've already made the banner. That's really good to see then. We probably want two banners now that I think about it. Just because it's a sort of a corner house. So we want to make sure people, you know, know that they, you know, it's the weavers on both ends. Alright, so if we go ahead and get this set up. So we'll get a weaver sign like right here. And then one right on the other side. Yeah, like one right here. That's not a bad look. Then what we'll do is we'll go to... Oh, wait. Not x-ray. Slice. Oh, no. Not slice. <laughs> I forgot there's a vision mode. All right. And now uh, we'll get some carpet right in. Where do we want this carpet right now? We've got a lot to work with right... Yeah. I keep saying right now. It's annoying. We've got a lot to work with, though. We get some dresses right here. And then we get some carpets. Right along here. That's a nice look. Right, and now. Yeah, we get that set up. Do we want any fire? Probably not. We can do with some flags in here, though. That'd be a nice look. Just because, you know, flags. It's the tailors, you know. People will need to know that this is a, a humble place. Now, what we'll do is we'll have the tailor's bed. Or a bed, anyway. It's not actually going to be the tailor's bed, since I imagine a few people will try and sleep in it. We'll have it right here. And at the same time, it'll be right next to a desk. There we go. And we'll get a chair in. Oh, crap. Keep clicking R to rotate. I really wish they would change that. To, I mean, it makes a lot more sense than having R be defensive mode. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. A caravan approaches. Hello, Rockside. I can't bear in goods for trade. Would you like to give me 17 picket fences in exchange for 12 hugs of stone? No. I think they're still in defensive mode. So, wait. Are, are, are they? They're all stuck in defensive mode. That's interesting. Let's go back on a save. That's fine. It saved a little while ago. The house is all built, so that's fine. It just means we might have to refurnish the house. Running into new bugs every time on this game. Every single time I play through it, there is just a new bug. It's really interesting. 
Don't forget to report your bugs, however. Even if they don't, you know, fix them. Instead, they just add more content. <laughs> yes. Ooh, he said it. He said it. I know it's a bit crappy of me to keep going at them about bugs, but at the same time, they add content, but they don't fix the current bugs of the previous content. It's, it does get a bit, like, silly after a while. It would be very much appreciated if they did actually try and fix the bugs. Because they are just... Well, they're quite frustrating, really. But oh well, I am entitled. Alright, if I just get rid of these. Also, Alpha is Alpha. Just want to note that right there. Two Weavers right here. I also wish I could get rid of that that log. <laughs> that gets in the way a lot. Did we make these two beds last time? We're going to try again. I don't think I did, though. And then we'll make our dresses again. And our nicer chairs. We'll make the flower beds at the bottom, just in case. Make some shields. They're all eating right now, but they're hanging around the wood in order to eat. I like it. Alright, so let's see. Actually, I think I want the bed here. No, I can't. I can't. It's not going to be even. Alright, then I guess I won't. <laughs> there we are. And then along here, we'll have our two dresses again. One right here. One right there. Beautiful. And then we'll get our flags. There we are. Beautiful thing. I think that's that. Other than, of course, all the other stuff, including the actual tailor's place, which I... Where is that? Do we have a tailor? That's a good question. <laughs> that would probably help us out if we didn't. I don't think I do because I have so many minerals that I don't need a tailor, because you can just buy most of the stuff that a tailor can make easily. Let's see, who wants to be a tailor right now? Can I, dear? Um... I don't know. Are you the tailor we really need? Yes. You are the tailor we really need. Do we have any? We don't actually have the tailor's tool yet. We should probably go ahead and make one. If we go ahead and make the uh, weevil's, uh, weaver's spindle right there. Move that up. Good to see. And what we also need to do is change the storage space in here. Okay, it's going to have to be much smaller zone. 7x7. Seven seven. And we'll change that into light armor and uh, not leather, but threads of bolt, light armor. Actually, not light armor, just the threads, I think. Threads and bolt. Leather, animal parts? Nah, just threads and bolt. And then outside, right here, is where we'll have our, our goods from this area being the light armor. Not really the heavy armor. We don't need the heavy armor right now. But pretty much all you make is light armor. So I imagine that's where all the clothes and that will go. So that's good to see. How's our food situation? We're looking good right now. If we look at this, our shelter right now is still not great. But at least their food is like 7.8, which is fantastic. Look at all the different food types we have right now. So many different types of jerky. It's good to see. There's a few gripes. Nobody's eaten in a while. Really? Round snakes, why if I wake up covered in rattlesnakes? That's a weird thought, Wizardo. That's quite petrifying, in fact. Maybe you, you might want to get that, that checked out, that fear of yours. Let's get these dresses set up. These dresses are much smaller than you would think. There we are. We want like a chair, like sort of a random chair right here, <laughs> just for the sake of having a chair. There we go. My phone is um, low on battery, so you're probably ra you're hearing like a random bloop bloop every now and again. If I just throw this over here. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. All hanging around the fire, enjoying your time. I like it. Do we have our weaver yet? Arrives with goods. We don't need the stone just yet, so that's fine. It looks like... Oh, yeah, we got the weaver spindle. And there we go. Now we'll go back to K. 
account idea right here. And um, Wakey the Weaver. It's been a little while. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. These are meant to be thrilling. Let's see. Uh, if you make me four picket fences, fence gates, I'll be back in two days and might be able to give you five bolts of cloth. Nope. I can't be bothered to abide by those deals. <laughs> they're just pointless. They're not pointless, but they're never really... Like, if they offered you something you couldn't make, that would be better. Like a cool little weapon that, you know, you can't make. Similar to the um, axe or the mace that our footman has. That's a good point. I was going to make another footman. Samuel right there. My apologies. I completely forgot I was going to make you a footman. Is it Samuel? Yeah, footman. So there we are. Another soldier to our ranks. It's good to see. I feel even safer right now. Now, hopefully you'll go ahead and put yourself... Uh, well, grab yourself a shield and some good armor. Maybe one of these hammers right here. Nope, you fell asleep. Good job, Samuel. Good job. Now, our weaver, right now, needs to go ahead and place his workbench right uh, here. Actually, I kind of like the idea of having your workbench right there. So, I think we'll have it right there. Right where all the cloth is. It's a nice look. It's a nice place altogether, to be honest with you. We need to get some light sources in, maybe, though. So, we'll do that. We'll have, like, a light right above your bed. You want to feel safe at night. So, there you are. And we'll have a light right there. Can I put one right there? How does that work? I guess not. Well, still, we want a light right here. Ah, yeah, and of course, we want to get our sign set up. One sign right there. One sign right there. Beautiful. It's a lovely place, I would say. You know, now we can go nuts. We can make ourselves some thick leather vests, even though we've already got five of them. I think it's better for us to sort of make some of these uh, wall-mounted uh, tapestries and that lot though first. You know, make some cool flags, make some rugs. Very nice. Daily update. Welcome to Rockside. Rockside. Who are we missing? Do we have Archangel? Doesn't look like it. Archangel, welcome. Welcome to the ranks, Archangel. It's a beautiful place to live. Rockside, full of rocks. Who'd have thought? Wait, what? Oh, bloody hell. I was typing just then. Why did it take me out of it? Arch. Angel. There you go. Oh, you've all been off broke just then. It looks like you have all given up. I'm not too sure if I should be scared. Right, let's go ahead and make ourselves some um, bolts right here. Well, like 20 of them. Just keep you busy, basically. Make sure you're doing something. Now, at the same time, it's a nice looking house. I mean, well, it's all right looking. It's not amazing. But we need more houses. <laughs> we do need more houses. I'm thinking about having one right here. Or one right down here. You can have like a smaller house. It's not too bad. One down here, one across that side. Oh, I'm not too, I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot we can do right now. In fact, we'll move this fire pit down here. I'll we'll make ourselves a little normal house. A little normal house, I know. A bit weird sounding. But it's not going to be too crazy, okay? Just bear with me right now. So let's see, if we have the house right here. Oh, actually, do you want it to be nine across? Like nine across right here. Nine across right there, and then the inside of it. How would that look? We poke that out some more. There we go. And when we just uh, go out like this a little bit more. It's a weird looking house. I don't mind it. I don't mind it whatsoever. Ever. And then we'll go ahead and get some doorways set up on either side. Followed by... Oh, I can't get any windows on the nine cross. I completely forgot about that. It's fine. We'll get some windows set up right here. And this will just be... Um, it looks like a storage shed, actually. Might want to put a lot of food in here. 
We've got like a granary right now. I like that. And then we'll get... Yeah, this is a definitely a granary. There we go. How does that look? I feel like the need to get rid of... Oh, saving apparently. What about E? No. No, okay. It's a bit interesting. I think it's alright though. Let's build. You know, make it some simple houses right now. Nothing too crazy. Do you want anything up here? Got a lot of copper up here actually. I didn't notice that before. And a bunch, looks like a bunch of iron right there. That's a good point. Did we get all the iron over here? Got some gold. Let's see. Uh, X-ray. Nope, still quite a lot of iron to, uh, to mine up. I think right now, we want everyone to start building this house. So we don't really want to use up all their time. Just like screwing around, doing things we don't want them to do. Mm. None of that mess. Now while they're building that, we should probably get a blacksmith set up. Where do we want this blacksmith though? Now, well, I'm thinking the blacksmiths need to be the main part of the town, okay? So it should be near the town center. You know what I'm saying? 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 Anyway, not, let's not go nuts right now. It shouldn't be too close because I want some market stalls set up. In fact, we should make sure we got these market stalls set up first. Let's see. If we just get like a market bench, put it right here. Oh, okay. That's not the right button. Once again, clicked. Tried to click R. I ended up clicking something else. So let's see, a market bench. On the right side. Yeah, that's nice. And then a grey market bench right here. I don't want that one there, but okay. Nice. And we'll just insta-build these because I know they can't build them. There we go. What I like to do with the market benches, though is I want to make sure they're actually going to put stuff on them. So you don't want to like, so you want to make small storage spaces and just let them put anything on them. And then after a little while, they'll eventually like come across it and put something on it. And it look really cool. So it looks like they're actually selling stuff. Hopefully they will, they will use it eventually. They'll probably, it'll take a little while, but eventually they'll want to do something with it. This house is underway very quickly. That's good to see. Now, how do we want our blacksmiths to look? Because it's got to be quite unique, okay? It's got to be quite a unique looking building, you know? I'm just curious how crazy we want to go with it. That's a good point. That's a really good point. I don't really know. If we go to our design right here. And we go to this building right here. What do you mean out of stone? Okay, we know this. This is a fact. I'm going to make sure that we have a small pathway right here. It's going to be really awkward to do because I kind of want it to be up one layer. That's what I'm, what I'm thinking about right now. It's going to be quite interesting. So we have like a little walkway right here. And then what we can do is we'll grab our blocks. It's probably going to cause some, uh, <laughs> some breaks, but okay. We'll worry about that later. And do we want to use this slab? I think this blue is fine. We'll go across by three here. Well, four. There we are. And I'm just sort of winging it right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, is that good? No, that, that's be that's much better. There we go. Oh. I don't know what that was for a second there, but okay. 